out here once again at the Cimarron Valley Research Station in the vegetable garden where you can see we have a nice cover crop growing. And joining us again is Dr. Lynn Brandenberger. And today we're going to talk about how the label is the law. A lot of times we say the label is the law, but break that down for us. What does that really mean and what information can we find on the label? Well, there's a whole lot of information on the label. Uh, not only instructions on how to use the chemical properly, mm -hmm. but also how to keep yourself safe, the environment safe, other people safe that might be around you. Uh, we've got one here that says caution on it, which is the lowest level of toxicity. Then the next level up is warning. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, then we get danger with the skull and crossbones. That means like uh, you really need to handle this very carefully. Uh, the other thing it will include would be uh, a group number, and that's to help you with uh, resistance management. If you used a 3A, you might spray once or twice with that and then switch to a different group so the pests don't get where they're used to. Right, kind of like plants have plant families, pesticides and insecticides right. also have groups that they're in. Right. So you want to use something from a different group. Correct. Uh, the other thing that the labels will always have on it is it will tell you what type of protective equipment that you need to wear as the applicator. Mm -hmm. And uh, so you want to make sure you read that and then follow that. Uh, the other thing the label will also talk about is uh, other things that might be added to the spray mixture like uh, adjuvants or spreader stickers, that sort of thing, or if it can be tank mixed with other materials. Mm -hmm. And it will actually list the materials you can tank mix it with and make suggestions. So the label gives you a lot of information. Uh, the other thing I want to point out is if uh, by uh, something occurred and you had an accident mm -hmm. and you, you got covered in pesticide and you had some real problems, you need to take the label with you to the emergency room. That's a very important thing to remember. So you don't want to lose the label, obviously, because that has right. a lot of valuable information in it. But what if we do? It seems you've printed a few labels off. Are they always available on the internet? Most, most of them are, okay. yeah. And, uh, you know, different companies have websites that you can go to and, and get labels off of that. The nice thing about those labels is the print's big enough <laughs> that people like me can read it. So. Well, Lynn, thank you for sharing this information with us. All right. Well, I enjoyed it. We hope you enjoyed this video. It's part of our Oklahoma Gardening YouTube channel. You can also find even more videos on our OK Gardening Classics YouTube channel. And join us on social media for great gardening tips, photos, and discussions.